Sex and the Single Alien is a 1993 sci-fi comedy directed by Peter Daskaloff and starring Eric Koner, Melanie Rose, Frank Fowler, Michelle Hess, and Michaela Stoikov. Ugh, text. Who would buy that shit? Keep it down, I have a presentation at work tomorrow. There's some UFO bullshit, and then Harry makes his move. What are you doing? I'm turning you on. Uh, this is what turns me on, honey. You know, if Harry got an alien mask and kinked it up a little bit, He'd be getting his dick wet, no problem. And Harry goes to angrily beat off. The whole world is screwing. But Harry Smith ain't. What a fucking drama queen. Ta -da! Drives my Victor wild. Was she reading that shit all night? How can you make love every single day? Twice a day. Pardon me. Twice a day. God, that's fine. One day I'm gonna die. Through. This is lust. Nice seat covers. Oh dear lord, they work together? What the fuck? Well, that was gratuitous. Sam drops by and they discuss Harry's lack of a sex you know life. Most women don't want to have sex. They want to have rights. That's why most men end up having affairs. Some new talent arrives. Straight up sleep. You're wasting booze, you ass! No thanks. Oh, look, look at you. Are you the boss? I'm half the boss. My wife's the other half. What the fuck? And she's hired. No, don't worry. It doesn't matter if you can actually dance. You'll find her backstage. Where's the backstage? Uh, behind the stage? Let's get your tax paperwork filled out. Russia, how interesting. I hear they have a lot of extraterrestrial spaceship sightings over there. Oh, god damn, stop! She does some moves, and Sam discusses infidelity with Harry. Never cheat on Olivia. Never. N-E-D-E-R. Never. What's your idea? Ladies and gentlemen, the world's worst wingman. You Russians got no match when it comes to dance. I'm speechless. <laughs> you are so gorgeous. You've got overwhelming talent, sweetheart. You could be hotter than the sun. I thought to myself, you know, I'm, I'm looking at uh, God herself. <laughs> Fuck, he's gonna run out of compliments. Well, I charge a hundred bucks just to shake your hands. <laughs> he's a normal guy. <laughs> your boss. That night? Ah, oh, fuck it, just drown yourself. Are you shitting me? There's a meeting of the minds, but Olivia doesn't seem too concerned about the alien abduction of her husband. It's date time, and I guess they're going to take their time. How long you haven't had sex? I uh, can't remember the last time I had sex. <laughs> I can tell. I can only assume that they got it on. 
it's morning and there's an investigation that ends with Harry walking in and dropping some info. Well, what did happen to you last night, Mr. Smith? I had an affair. Oh, you're fucked. God. Harry, wake up. Wake up! You were abducted last night by aliens right in my backyard. I saw the whole thing. You were having such wishful hallucinations. She didn't buy the truth. Back at the titty bar, Gabriella wants to see Harry again for free. Honestly, it sounds like she should be paying Harry. Traff. Oh, there he goes again. <laughs> The fuck? The span between these two specimens is 19 centuries. These human creatures look all the same. Did he really get abducted? Then he's out in the desert dressed like a Roman gladiator. So what happened? Uh, crew leave you behind? <laughs> I'm not an actor. We noticed. The fuck? <laughs> what? You raped my lady! Sounds to me like she raped herself. What? You are a dead man. Hey. Well, this shit went sideways real fast. Did you just get off? Yeah, but uh, it was a fantasy. Fantasies are good for humans. They get off on them. Did he violate that woman? And he obviously loses his ride. Are you filming around here? I'm not an actor. We know. Then he mentally violates this woman. He gets home, washes his face, then mind fucks his wife in the kitchen. And this is for the location. Ah! How did she do that? I don't know. He did it to me first on my kitchen floor this morning. Women be pissed. And it's time to go to the neurologist. And how does he do that? Uh, I, I don't know. I, I wish I did. Well, let me look at him. Maybe I can help. No, uh, how old are you? Oh, oh. It's okay. He finds out she's of age and does it again. But this time for science. He does his thing again, then gets a helmet that is guaranteed not to get him laid. Harry gets home, gets a blowjob from Olivia to a montage of past mind fornication, and they end up living happily ever after. Sex in the Single Alien is the epitome of the 1980s softcore film. The plot is so fucking stupid you will lose IQ points from watching it. It makes no sense, and they didn't have any money for this thing. But what it does have is boobs and women faking orgasms. And that's all this film is. It's easy access spanking material. And the title, Sex and the Single Alien? I have no idea what that has to do with the plot. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> plot. Okay, Dirty Harry, go ahead. Make my day.